the first things I did was look at the designs that Da Vinci had created for the floor plants, and they're beautiful, art, you know, they're, they're designed. So I had the dancers look at them to be inspired by, to create movement. It's huge, huge amounts of um, things from, you know, his, his lifestyle, what he did, all the varying, like things like, was he a painter, artist, scientist, physician? you know, astronomer. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's like, it's so <laughs> yeah, I know it is. But that is good. I mean, I know. Uh, it's the rape of the Sabine women, isn't it? Yeah, right there. Rape yes. of the Sabine women. Okay. Uh, I've never seen the right. sarcophagus probably needs just slow. Interesting. Play also in, you know, physics and engineering. And, and, and so his, he, he had accumulated all this knowledge. His, his eyes. Yeah. Right, but I then they, they, they but I could so see that and then I go, Jasmine, I got you. Let's get yeah, out of the house. So that you don't die. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I think maybe if we travel this way Digging somehow. Digging into the material up. and just um, to keep pushing pushing new ways to find choreography um, and to construct it. Who's in the front? Who's coming back? How are you surrounding? Um, so then, so we had to figure all of that out in the dance studio. There's someone with their back to everybody. Uh, what time is it, Mr. Fox? Well, it's four o'clock. So they have the dancers had. They could only move four movements, whether that's steps or cartwheels or whatever. Um, and they, so they keep asking, and then eventually you get to cross the line, you get to tag someone out, you know, then there's a new leader. So that was how we started. War Machines. Because we're all so different and coming together as one. Um, has been a very interesting process. Okay. So, so like, kind of like, literally. like this. So I would literally just be here and then, and then swing. swing and then you guys would catch my right. leg yeah, and yeah. swing back. From the swing. And so like we've been working stuff. with, she's, you know, the body, um, the artist in terms of what, the artist in terms of not only what you're working with, whether it's clay or marble, but who your people are when you're around you that support you or inspire you. This process has been amazing, getting to choreograph, um, but with the structure that Sonia gives us. And my second thing is being able to meet all of these people who I now consider I mean, family. Exactly. Um, so you can set up fully, yeah. Just oh. jump. So head, elbow, all through, over, run. <laughs> and down. And then and then do we want to run into something else? Sonia will um, give us like phrases to work with or previous phrases that um, we've made and ask them to change but usually it's a collaboration, like a, a task based scenario that will figure out something and then do it in a different way and then tweak it, put it with another person, pull it apart, do it differently, you know, so it's, it's, a, nice, it's a nice atmosphere to be in, to know that you're just as much a part of the creation process as like the choreographer. So that there's movement, that this, this, you're all kind of doing the same, you know, whether it's Jasmine's phrase or Corinne's phrase, but that it's the groups, whatever group you're with is the same movement. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense, but it will. In, in this one group, like when you're like, oh, yeah, wait, if you come in here, like, there's just no one for me to connect with.
you know. Right, right. right. Yeah, I meant, yeah, yeah, I meant that you would be here while they're switching out. Even if it happens that way, they switch out to the next group and then someone Yeah, that's what I mean. In. It can be fluid. It's not like two separate like entities. Like yeah, so like you would just like reach things. over and then there would be another person there to... Do, do you get what I'm saying? So you don't want... So we're not doing two groups? We can, we but are. I just mean they shouldn't stay two groups the whole time. They should time. be like super separate. Right, right, right. They stay two groups in, uh, for a little bit and then they merge together. And then they... But they can switch and... I just... Feel at the same time as I, I love the group I work with, it also can be really hard to express your artistic ideas with so okay. many other people who have so many artistic ideas. Like everyone has this concept in their head and then trying to find that balance between what works for them, what works for you, and then what works for Sonia is just this like trifecta you have to kind of get to, but it, it takes a lot of time. It takes effort and it takes patience too. <laughs> to that because people observe and you observe every day it's just having to sit on the sides and dance it's the worst because I want to be like in like in it so yeah I think I like the sarcophagus one the best with Joey and I. Even though I don't really do all that much, I enjoy feeling his energy and I I just enjoy like dance having these multiple and deeper meanings and um, that like very intimate relationship that I think is being created in that moment. Given this information, and he started out as an artist, right? But he kept observing, and so how did that in, in, in learning? So what did that him, teach him? What did it teach me? What does it teach us? Okay, that's what we'll do for now. You observe birds, you observe winds, he was you know, one of the first to, to do that, but he'd been studying motion, he'd been studying, you know, math, like physics, like how, you know, to make things happen. So, you know, those things that he started creating, the first helicopter, well, you know, now look what the heck we're doing, right? So where are we going to go next if we really embrace this marriage of science and art and understand We discussed this earlier, way back in August, like what, what must that be like to be creating, you know, beautiful things and then also things that are going to save you from destruction or destruct something else, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then into our next thing. Do you remember okay. this was? One, I remember. Wait, no, we faced the back. Um, yeah, one, but I, we all did it like Oh, yeah, 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 right there. As well. So it's not just a handy thing, you know? Um, do you see what I'm doing? So I'd like you um, both to, you know, that was like, I know we were working on five, so we'll think about five. My favorite section is the um, the war machines, because it's like, you have artistic freedom in a way, and it's, 
Yes, but... All machines have limitations, right? Whether it's a human machine or not. So I said, okay, this is all you can do, dancers. Um, and I put one dancer in a corner and that dancer had to attempt to get out. And everybody else, I'm like, okay, you can move um, laterally, you can't move your legs, um, you can shift weight, you can move up and down. Um, so that was, that was the first task. That's a lot of time. Can you turn around? Yeah. How are we going to make the costume changes? The what is the base costume so that we can add or change easily and um, economically and efficiently? Why don't wear hats? Lots of brains in there. Mm. Things that are called coifs, the caps. And so if you look at some of the paintings back then, the women's hair actually looks like that. And then there are in the paintings as well. So we're going to use those for the section on elephants.
getting the sound guy now. So you will have monitors because you're behind okay, you. Yeah. All right, yeah. they'll have monitors. It's essential. But thank you. Okay. All right, we have to get the uh, mics off stage. In rituals, reverences, and confessions is the, the mother stork because she's the one that left daddy for another stork. So. <laughs>
Joey goes back on for storms. We do a crossover. We run around.